Hola, in this video, we're going to learn how to express periods of time using the present tense in Spanish. Before we go on, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. So first, we're going to start off by learning the endings of the present indicative tense. We're going to learn it by conjugating the verb trabajar, which means to work. So you will have, yo trabajo, tú trabajas, él, ella, usted trabaja, nosotros, nosotras trabajamos, vosotros, vosotras trabajáis, ellos, ellas, ustedes trabajan. So you get the o, as, a, amos, ais, an ending for this verb. Next is the verb comer, which means to eat. You will have the como, comes, come. Comemos, coméis, comen. So you get the o, s, e, emos, eis, an ending for this verb. Lastly, we're going to conjugate the verb vivir, which means to live. You will have vivo, vives, vive, vivimos, vivis, and viven. So you get the o, s, e, imos, is an ending for this verb. Now, let's look how this tense will be used in a sentence. So you basically use this tense when you refer to actions or situations that started in the past and that still continues today. So, for example, let's say in the past, in 2000, a, name, a girl named Bona had came or arrived at Korea in the past. So you'll say, Bona llegó a Korea en 2000. And let's say, now, in the present, 2021, Bona is still living in Korea, or Bona sigue viviendo en Korea. In this situation, you're going to use the present indicative tense to say, Bona vive en Korea desde 2000. Now, we're going to look at total three formulas how to use this tense in a sentence to express periods of time. The first formula will go like this, presente de indicativo, más desde, más fecha, or date. Let's look at the example sentences to see how this formula applies to the sentence. So, this, this sentence basically says, estudio en esta escuela desde enero. This means that I have been studying at this school since January. Another example sentence, ella trabaja en una empresa desde el año pasado. This will be, she has been working in a company since last year. Lastly, we're going to look at how these two sentences can actually be joined into one sentence at the end using the present indicative tense. So, Elsa conoce a Jaime, lo conoció en 2005, which means that Elsa got to know Jaime and she got to know him at 2005. This could be joined into one sentence, which is Elsa conoce a Jaime desde 2005. Now, it's your turn. Translate this sentence into Spanish. You're going to see the solutions in the end of the video. Elena has been reading this book since last month. Next, let's look at the, next for, the second formula, which is by presente de indicativo más desde hace más periodo, periodo de tiempo or period of time. Let's look at the example sentence. Gabriel estudia español desde hace dos meses. This means that Gabriel has been studying Spanish for two months. Another sentence. No veo a Rosa desde hace mucho tiempo. This means that I haven't seen Rosa for a long time. Now it's your turn. Translate the sentence into Spanish. I have known him for more than 10 years. Now, let's look at the last formula. This formula goes like, hace más periodo de tiempo más que más presente de indicativo. This formula applies like this. Hace tres días que no miro el correo electrónico. This means that I haven't looked at the email for three days. Now, you can actually translate this more literally uh, which I do not recommend, but you can still 
I'll translate this into another way as it has been three days that I haven't looked at the email. And you can see that get translates into did, that in this sentence. Another sentence, hace dos años que estudia inglés, which means that he or she has been studying English for two years. Now, it's your turn. Translate this sentence into Spanish. How long have you been working here? Now, in this video, we have covered and we have learned how to express periods of time using the present indicative tense in Spanish, uh, specifically by three formulas. Let's review those. The first formula was presente de indicativo más desde más fecha. So you write the date at the end. The second formula was presente de indicativo más desde hace más periodo de tiempo or period of time. The last formula was hace más periodo de tiempo más que más presente de indicativo. Remember these three formulas to use anytime you want at the future.